Thank you. And Palm Duck B, what a brilliant night, what a great night. Talking about, uh, well, I, was, uh, I ran out of petrol the other day, it gave me the shits, I won't deny it. You know why I ran out of petrol? I'll tell you, because the warning light comes on too early. That warning light is rubbish. There should be a second warning light that says, I'm serious this time, man. <laughs> You've passed 15 petrol stations since the last light came on, you're gonna run out on Punt Road and look like a cockhead. <laughs> I need that light. That's where I ran out on Punt Road. <laughs> and it was a clear way. I couldn't stop where I was. I was panicking. Then this bloke pulled up next to me. I thought I was saved. He looked in the window and said, Easy. I said, Yeah. He said, What's going on? I said, I ran out of petrol, man. He said, That's funny and fucked off, you know? <laughs> I said, It'll be funny when I do the gala, but it's not funny now. <laughs> you give me the shit. Hey, what else gives me the shits? The lolly bags, yeah. Hear me out here. <laughs> Bought a bag of lollies the other day. On the bag, it had an instruction. It said, fun to share. This was a 50 gram pack. That's a handful of lollies. That's not fun to share. That's a pain in the ass to share. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do, lolly bag. <laughs> You're not the ruler of me. <laughs> I don't listen to lolly bags. Don't listen to John Howard anymore either, because he has finished, but he keeps raving on, doesn't he? The other day he was in America going, oh, it'll be disgusting if Australia pull out of Iraq. Well, John, you got a bit of time on your hands. Why don't you get tracksuit on and freaking get over there yourself? <laughs> Power walk around Baghdad looking after everyone, Johnny. <laughs> Let's pull out, because it's dangerous. Even bloody Prince Harry left Afghanistan <laughs> after the new idea revealed he was there. That shocked me. I didn't know the Taliban read the new idea, you know? <laughs> My God! They'd be fired up with the Wayne Carey story in, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah, treat them rough, Wayne. That's the way... No, I didn't see <laughs> Well, come on. Amazing story. Wayne and his girlfriend, they're still together, even though a lot of stuff went on. Over in Miami, apparently, there was a glassing, and she dropped the charges eventually. I think she realised what happened. They were sitting at the table over there and they realised how much they were in love and they wanted to have a cheers to it and she didn't have a glass. And she said, Wayne, I love you so much, you just use my face, all right, mate? <laughs> so, I should get married and settle down like I have. <laughs> we're having a great life. Last year, my wife, after about three months of marriage, said, we need to get a dog. And I said, why? She said, I need something to love. <laughs> picking up my shit. I said, we live in a flat, we can't have a dog. She said, you're home alone all day. I said, yeah, and I do some pretty weird shit during the day. I don't want a dog looking at me. We eventually got the dog and I have to pick up a shit. Here's a question for you. If a dog shits in a park and no one sees, did it happen? You've been a great crowd. Thanks, guys. Have a great night. Please thank him, David Hughes.